The bumper that you guys all love. Prepare for battle. Back. Well, look. Welcome to this game. And we have a very interesting game because this is the last. I mean, this is really Ooh. important for liquid points wise. I like this a lot. Okay, so I was going to say, I, th I think they should just flex the Monkey King to mid. Uh, because it's a much better matchup against the Ember Spirit than he would have against the Beast, and so that, that is what they are going to do. Koifoot will go to the safe lane. All right, so that that was what you were excited about. Yeah, I am excited about. It. Anytime people, you know, Mickey's their safe lane carry player, but recognizing that he can have essentially no impact against the Beast or dominate the Ember Spirit, and like and Bear will be just fine, is uh, is a good move. No, I like I like your excitement in the voice. I just I, well, I was thinking they were gonna do something like really special, but I, I, we, <laughs> we do see uh, Liquid do this a lot actually. It's something that I do like a lot about this team. Back in the day, I remember when Morphling was like a mate hero for a while and was really strong a laner, and Mickey used to play that all the time. It, it wasn't a problem for them. Making Quickva swap lanes all the time. Quickva has even played off lane sometimes as Boxy takes his lane a bit more. It, the versatility of this Liquid team, I think, is a result of how long they've been together. Okay, Boxy went for an early Orb Venom, which is a great idea to catch No-Tail, but these are just some these nice blocks. body blocks. Yeah, man, you are fighting against the King of Micro. This is the guy who played Meepo support, my man. You are not going to be able to get to him. Boxy, he does have a Bash queued up, so we'll be looking to punch somebody in the face pretty hard here pretty soon. A long way to see I think Sword is one of the better heroes. Jesus Christ. That is a dark line. Uh, I think Sar is one of the better heroes dealing with. Uh, oh, no tail. Prophet. So annoying. <laughs> yes, dance! Dance in his face! And if Boxy oversteps as well, you got the train body blocking him afterwards. There we go, he just got the final hit. This is definitely gonna be a face boots game, I think, for the slaughter. Yeah, probably. I mean, the, the attack speed is really nice from Treads if you're dealing with the slipper heroes like the Morph and the Ember. But he probably wants to be aggressive. Yeah, the extra moment speed. What do you think of this lane, by the way? Do you think that's far Puck? I mean, Puck is really good here against Morphling as well, so... Um, it, it'll get better for Liquid, I think, the longer it goes. Although, I don't know, No-Tail is really just owning them right now. So much harass. <laughs> he really the is. Fuck. He has one Blightstone, and that is enough. Blightstone plus Fairy Fire. That is how you win a lane. Honestly, he is controlling them completely. You know what lane? Oh, oh no tail's gone. I heard our comments. He's going to come back, though. He has the teleportation. No problem. I like how he's using those TPs aggressively. He knows he's going to secure the lane, and he's not going to be rotating early, so it doesn't matter. He leaves some mail alone for a bit, though. And look at this. Oh, this is what happens when I'm gone, says no tail. I can't just leave you alone. No, some mail, come on. Taiga is reconcerting this, though. He's realizing no tail's going to come any town. No tail's back. TP'd a bit further back so he get some trees as well. Fine. I'm always gonna die here. I do like this well, buckler. Really important to have like, somebody in this lane. They're they're putting it on the puck, which is a little bit awkward, but it's definitely necessary if you're trading against the morph and the and the nature's prophet. I agree. Uh, you could have. I mean, you can't have puck really turn it into. A... That's yes. You can have a puck four go flats. I don't think that's. Cr yeah, I'd rather not though. I'd rather have the slaughter builds up. Yeah. I tend to agree, but they, they wanted to get aggressive with this oof, so uh, Boxy, he needs to get something done with it, though, I will say. He needs to be able to trade a little bit. Well, so Mail used to be so, he used to be so annoyed by the OG. Now he's, he's partaking in it. I like it. He's really fitting in with the team. No tail. Oh, that's yeah, a good body block by Taiga. Slithering crash. And they have one more hit to the bash. He's definitely dead here. But nice body block, though. The creeps are kind of massing around Taiga, doing a fair amount of damage. That buckler really helps out. And they do get the first blood here in the stop lane. Good job there, Liquid. Yeah, really. All three lanes going quite well. Koikba is in trouble, though, being slowed by the boars. Bottom lane, they do find them. The boars plus sucks, so you know that's just level two. And the boars continue against Insania. That's level two boars already. I think Insania's dead. Yes? God, oh gee. Say so fine, you kill my carry, I kill yours and your support too. 
You know, if, if one lane is going as expected, truly, it is the mid lane where yes. Mickey is crushing Thompson as expected. Yes, so apparently Thompson can be beat. Well, this matchup is nearly unplayable for Ember Spirit. Yes, it is. Uh, there was a while though when they really heavily nerfed Jingle Mastery that Ember actually won the matchup because uh, the, the flame guard damage was just a bit too much, but then Jingle Mastery got better. It went away. That was when Monkey King was, was hot garbage. Look at where mid one is playing right now. Quickpa is having to run away as a lone druid. Level behind, these boar slows are owning him. Radiance bottom uh, is under attack. See if they can. Insania seems to be the. Insania. Oh, those creeps are gonna body block. This is so annoying. Look at how those creeps are putting themselves, blocking any potential exit. It wasn't even that bad of a play, but the creeps. Man, it's how the aggro works. They try to find the closest route to you, and if one route is closed, then they gotta find the next one. Plus, if your name's on the Aegis twice, the game just tends to favor you a little bit, and so the creeps. You know, uh, they were taken over by some Midas mode players, and they decided to do some nice body blocking. So shout out to those AI players. Yeah, that is true. That is, that's actually a very good piece of knowledge there. I'll say people don't know this, but yeah. That's why that's why OG wanted to win twice. The $2 million was just an extra thing. Yeah, it only it's unlocks more when you get that second Aegis. That's... Exactly. Uh, no tail. It's about to go down. There we go. They get a bash as well. Very well calculated by Boxy. So we also forced into a double or two points into waveform early. So that's a pretty big win for Liquid, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Just needs the, the cooldown reduction, I suppose. And uh, Liquid playing the lanes pretty well. You know, and the, uh, the range as well. Yep. They've got uh, all three cores ahead of their counterparts. Something that we've seen OG do on a regular basis. Yes, and more importantly, mate, they're beating Thompson. I don't care how one side this matchup is. It is possible. I am... Uh... And we have seen Thompson dominate every single mid lane with Ember, with Void. These two spirits have been the go-to heroes for him, and Mika is doing it. Really good for them. Honestly, this is Liquid's strongest point, though, as a team. The lanes are always what Liquid really excels at. They know this early game. They know how to play the aggression. They have very good timed aggression. They never overextend in the earth. Good. Later they do, but for now, they play it really, really patiently and well. Yeah, and it's really, really important that they shut down the tempo setter on the side of OG because, exactly. like I keep saying, everything kind of stems from Topson being able to start diving around this period of time right now, and he's not even level 6 yet, so... Bottom, mid one, seems to want to get the kill on Quake, but is it possible they have the fear? They are forced to scale early on fear just to make sure that mid one can't get the kill, but actually Insania would just die regardless. This is the life of support. You're there, you frost blast them, you're happy, you saved your carry, but... You're gonna be the sacrificial goat in the end. Okay, two level advantage for Mickey. He's tanking the tower a little bit, needs to be careful. Here comes No Tail. No, oh, he does use that ultimate Wukong's command and force him away. Get out of my swamp, quite literally. And uh, No Tail realizes this, this is not a Monkey King he wants to fight. TTP down bottom lane, it's a punk as well. They want to get the kill on Saxa. It's time for retribution, says Insania. He puts the shield up onto the punk. I don't think Sox is going anywhere. Of course, it's a first hidden tangle. <laughs> of course. Prepare for a lesson. They bring down Soxa. Calculated by Quick for there. Uh, top lane, Boxy, getting pressured by Sumail. Yeah, the Boxy, Boxy's fine. Uh, they, they've been getting him so much of a lead here. It really has been easier time for Boxy. I think that right now Liquid is in the position where the Lone Druid is working. It's gonna work like, because you, last time you got cancelled a bit in the lanes and this time breaking the tempo setter, getting the space. It, this lineup is gonna work out for them, at least in the beginning. Yeah, Koifa is having a pretty rough time though and mid one is actually the first person to claim a tower. So Beastmaster will continue to exert pressure down here, which means that Liquid's gonna have to dedicate some resources to slowing it down. And like we said before, they don't have the best wave clear. So probably you send the puck or yeah, probably the puck, I, I guess. Uh, okay, they're trying to take the outpost now. It's the outpost battle. We always see around this time. It's eight minutes, though. It's not as vital. It's Sonya. Gonna go down. Yeah, Mickey joins in. And look at this. Mickey! Gonna try to turn this around. Very what nice sprout, sprout, though. Blocking him away. And the monkey cannot jump onto them. They might take the outpost, but that would have been a great kill. Sometimes, man. No till. This guy never, never disappoints, honestly. 
Yeah, he's he's a beast on this nature's profit. Really is any micro here to get honestly he's been a beast this whole qualifiers. Very, very solid player here. Okay. Lane. He's starting to build up that Echo Saber. Oh, that was a really interesting play just to get the last. Look at No Tail. Getting some deep wards down. Yes, this is the value of 5 NP right, that everyone always talked about. The fact that you can ward anywhere on. Yeah, he's, uh, he's mastered the art of being a huge asshole. And that's really what you need to be doing as a position 5. So, anyone looking to have fun in pubs as a support, watch No Tail because he has so much fun. No tail? Okay, another great sprout, but I don't think this one's gonna serve him to get away. Yeah, they even have the stun there. Okay, make it a body block, but he does even get the Jingle Master trigger in the end. Not that it matters too much because the rest of the team is not gonna fight this, of course. Well, actually, Thompson's doing Thompson plays. It means he's gonna go a bit deep. That is a great 6th sense sentry. That it catches the ward there because they found no tail, so I'm assuming that's why. And it almost caught Thompson, is the reason why Thompson couldn't go in. Uh oh, Insane. getting rewarded by creeps, though. Uh, do you not get the gold or the creeps do? Uh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, actually, but... Because it should be whoever rewards it, right? Whoever gets the vision, so I'm not sure how... Right, I just can't remember if it extends the creeps. I feel like it doesn't, but I could be wrong. Thank you for the talk. No tail. Take it in the top lane, we got Jinko Mastery. And yes, they just hit him through the trees. Sprout, unfortunately, doesn't really work that great when you have Amplify damage on top of you. 6-4, to four, 1k gold lead. Still favoring OG, slightly. Um, Sumail. Just doing Sumail stuff, farming away. Rotating over towards the triangle where they have all the vision, where they have more heroes. You're put in a position as Sumail where you realize this is not only a, a high tempo morphling game, but you have to make up for the lack of space group. Because Thompson is unfortunately not, or he's not going to be able to do that for a bit. That's a really nice stack to get for Thompson, though. He's not able to make space, but he's still making space. I mean, yeah. I don't know how many times I need to say this about OG. We still have not seen a fight on the OG side of the map. It's always on that their opponent's true. side of the map. That is true, actually. Uh, they, they do control those lanes very well. They're shutting out lanes consistently. Insider shows his face and they immediately take him out. There's Dream Coil, okay, so they're gonna go for Thompson. It's closer, but Thompson, staying true to form, walks back from the river to make sure he stayed on the liquid side of the map. Exactly. Sox has a bear, by the way. Sox has a bear? How? <laughs> what? Where's the bear, by the way? <laughs> the green bear from the Rubik. So if you if you give items to the bear, the, and you lose the bear, does it just dis the items? Um. Or do you get it back when you reach? I don't know. So, uh, Beast Master, careful. He's the first to die, and that's good bash. But hey, in comes Samael in puck form. I'm able to get the kill into the slaughter, but the shield really helps him a, a lot here. With the amplified damage, he can turn this around. Once he's coming in for the last stun, and he does get it, but the cost of his own life. They murder, uh, they murder Samael, and now going for Sox's bear. Bear on bear violence here. <laughs> he still has it stolen though, so he's gonna resummon it, hold on to it. Hey, hey no, it's a good steal. Oh. Uh, no, no, he's not. Bounce strike. He's like, wait the, a second, second I don't want to feed 300 gold anymore. I'm not gonna put any items on this thing, so. Yeah, it's true, it's true. It's, it's, it's not that great of a steal for Rubik. It's okay, it's a little bit meme -y, but it's, it's really not as great past, like, the seven minute mark. I do like to play by Boxy, by the way. Sometimes I understand that Boxy just acknowledges I have to die here, but it'll be for the greater good. Good Dream Coil here for the Ember. Nice, though, with a stun on the roof. Oh, no Jingu. Should give Ember some space. And he even oh, evades the stun from Mickey. <laughs> Thompson, this is why this man does not die. This is why the man can do the things he likes. I'm always looking for the next rotation. Anytime OG makes a play, there's always a second one coming very soon. Uh, I would assume that they'll probably start to rotate towards mid one here in a little bit. He has the roar available. He's just gonna continue to pressure this bottom lane. And sure enough, there's the smoke. They're playing towards him. Smoke from... Just tops in, no tail, okay. Yeah, no tail's the bait. And they managed to put Koiba in a bad position. Can he complete the true form? He does not. That's true form wasted for nothing as well. And they're gonna catch Lich. 
That was a good rotation by Ochi. That was a perfect bait by Mel too, honestly. Hats off to that play. Yeah, really nice smoke. Soxa having the corrosive haze meant that one sleight of fist was almost all of Koikva's life right there. Yes. And this will be a tier one tower in the mid lane going down as well as Beastmaster connects. I think this is the problem of Thompson as well, which is well, not really the problem, problem of facing Thompson. Because he is used to lanes not entirely going his way. And he knows how to recover no problem. Very similar to how Sumail used to play in the mid lane. He did not have any trouble recovering, even if he did lose the lane. Right. So yeah, Sumail would go farm, Thompson just runs at you, no matter what his farm <laughs> yeah, is. <laughs> exactly. And he wins, though. He wins by running at you. That's the OG style. Uh, perpetual game of chicken, as he just... Foxy has the bash ready, by the way. It's not the easiest of plays here. Mecha is the stolen most farm here as an Echo Saber. Could fight Thompson if they want to. They're biding their time. There's some the illusions. There's a dream call. Surprise! They know the bait as well. Look, we can take down Thompson here if they so please. The damage should be sufficient. Thompson no for the fist. Not good enough. That would have been too clutch. Liquid was done with this guy. They murdered the Rubik as well. And they actually did a very similar play to what OG did earlier. So congratulations, one play. Yeah, they're keeping the game pretty close, which is extremely important against OG. They're going to get the mid-tier one tower as well, thanks to the bear. And this opens up potential for taking Roche, which is something that they would love to steal away from the Morphling. Oh, my mid one. Oh, look at this. Titus playing with him. Yeah, roar me. I dare you. Oh, okay. One TP, okay. though. Okay, that hurts. It's a long TP. Tiger was not expecting this. He has to get away. Tiger might sacrifice his life for this. <gasps> Feels you have jumped. It's not going to be good enough. However, it is a mid one kill. So that's still a worthwhile trade for Liquid. Absolutely. Yeah, really, really quick rotations from Liquid. This is what you have to do. OG's always looking for that next play, the next kill, and Liquid are matching them currently. And it's uh, starting to favor them a little bit. I. Yeah. I have a hard time picking a winner if we were to go super late in this game, but I would imagine that we're gonna get a pretty bloodbathy game. Lots of kills as we enter the mid stage and start to contest these bigger objectives like the Roche and the tier twos. I'm actually loving how Liquid is playing. I understand that sometimes OG does get beat early and they still recover, it's fine, but Liquid is playing the Scrappy Dota that OG is known for doing well. And they went, oh, Scrappy Dota, yeah, cracks Knuckles, goes into the game, no problem. Liquid loves these kind of plays as well, so it does suit them. And Liquid comes from a very strong win against Alliance. 2-0 to Alliance, they're rivals, right? So they're definitely confident in this game. Yeah, and this is probably the first time that I've seen... OG give a decent amount of space to the enemy core. Koikva is just pushing in the top tower. No problem. He's feeling pretty good about himself. He's only third in net worth from the top. Take the tower up top, Koikva. Prepare for a lesson. The, the lone druid, oh, Taiga gets caught out, actually. Lone druids trying to take a tower, and this would be pretty big, giving them a bit of extra space, completely dominating the enemy safely. Happened for now. Mid one still smoked along with Soxa. They're running towards the top lane, but Boxy will break it. Yeah, Boxy will break it, but his body might break as well. Oh no, back to the face, Leathering Crush. Boxy's out of here. Never mind. Oh, so that's the roar. Primal roar. Okay. Yeah, they have Samil. Oh, nice spot by Mickey, though. Up to three. They can attack Samil here. They should be able to beat him. But they have to get out of the circle. Mickey's trying to keep his circle as long as possible. Samil, the stuns are too good. The damage is impossible to deal with. Samil will go down. He got a bit cocky in that initiation, but Mickey surprises with a great boundless strike. Boxy's super tanky right now with the drums plus double bracer and treads and wand and the essence ring. Really just putting his body in between OG and his teammates. They find Beastmaster yet again. Boxy, honestly, the eternal obstacle. He seems to be a helpless fish out of water, but really he's a flying fish. He can be out of water, no problem. He can find people like the Ember. Look at how he's bashing them. He's been silent, still dream cold. The Ember can do nothing. I think they're gonna go high ground here. Oh, this might be the actual game where Liquid ends quickly. <laughs> and they don't waffle about with the high ground thing. This is the best moment for Liquid to win. They tend to struggle breaking that high ground if it's minute 35 to 40. That's when they struggle. 30 to 40 is, is tough. But this, they love these stomp games. Dota is a game of momentum often, and Liquid have certainly seized it away from OG for the first time in this entire qualifiers. Up 3k, about to get the Aegis. It's going to make Mika able to go absolutely ham in these fights. 
Yeah, that's a little concerning for OG. Yeah. This might be the first team that really uh, sets them straight. I think the style of Liquid, it's not that they're necessarily better than everyone else, but their style is much more suited to deal with OG style. So, this yeah, is a good draft as well. They're not afraid to just run at OG. And and like I said, I, I really think one of the biggest things that OG does better than most teams is that they bring the extra hero to every engagement. They never just bring like, oh, two will be okay to get this killed. It's always like two and we've got a third one coming and a fourth one coming in just in case. Yes. But Liquid's the kind of team that, you know, they've been playing together for so long, they die together, they don't care. If it's if it's five people that they die, okay, so be it, as a team wipe. But they're gonna fight that. If they think it's a good fight, they're definitely gonna commit completely to it. Look at this TP from No Tail, super deep, oh. getting Koikva. That is very good, Larson also Mikke? going in, that's Koikva gone. Doesn't waste his true form. Does he have a bear when he comes back? <laughs> nice snipe by Mikke. He does have a bear when he comes back. And Sani also cut out there from behind, unfortunately not much you could do there. So OG, yeah, 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 never never really count them out of this game. Yeah, you you can't get lazy. Just because you've got the Aegis, you have to expect OG to run at you. That's like something that they do consistently, I've noticed in these qualifiers, is the moment that you take your foot off the gas, OG is like, well, they're not expecting us to be aggressive right now. So what are, you, what are we going to do, boys? We're going to be aggressive. And they just absolutely catch Liquid sleeping right there. Yeah, they did. They've been really good at cutting, like when they get these uh, these ganks, they cut completely to the Lone Druid. It seems like they, they know exactly what the target is. Cancel Koikva, take the Lone Druid away, that's your win condition as the game progresses. The monkey will not be at the top of this network. Well, he went for a Maelstrom build, so let me ask fuck this. Yeah, you say that, but he's having a very good game. Yeah, Mick is playing very, very well. General, actually, all the performances today have been really great. Also, Taiga on this position four puck. Let me say, I was doubtful of this pick, but I am happy to choke up my words. Yeah, Taiga's at his best when he's able to play uh, as aggressively as he wants, and Puck is one of the best heroes to do that. He's able to set up his team all over the map. Oh, they have caught Soxa. Do find the oh, and the Morphling, too. Yeah, that's another fight down with Morphling. He tries to... Ah, that's nice. Mata Santa spill everything. But Boxy, you're in the river. <gasps> but Samael turns into Slardar. And now tops him as well. Slide of Fist with those Searing Chains makes it impossible. Tries to break Naked was freeze. looking for the counter kill, but Thompson was ready for that. Uh, Taiga? Finally, well, he's starting to cut the lanes a bit. Then I'm dying because of it. Okay. You can't... OG get these kills, but you are going to protect the map at least. Yep, he was, he was trying to do the uh, the OG style where you have four heroes running around getting kills, one hero pushing the lanes, but gets caught out a little bit. OG very quick to punish that. The pace of this game is actually insane. If you were playing this game right now, you would have, like, <laughs> you'd have no idea what's going on just because it's like, as soon as one move is made, the other team's responding. There's absolutely no delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised by how quick thinking both teams have been doing this. They they don't doubt, right? I don't know how they measure these engagements to really think, oh, this is a good one to take, this is a bad one. Just go. Like, go in yeah. and hope that they can win it based on mechanical skill. And they trust the calls. I'm, I'm sure that as soon as it's like, oh, we see one person, go. And then they all just go. There's sure. no like, I don't know about that, guys. It's just like, listen to your teammates. Exactly. I mean, uh, I think in the case of Liquid, you've always seen this from the. They do trust each other. I've always liked about brotherly friendship they have. In the case of OG, it's surprising because it's just respect that they have for each other. They haven't been together that long. Teams have uh, swapped sides of the map. Liquid deciding that they have chosen to play Dire for a little bit. Uh. Seems like they're trying to take over the enemy map and then go for a wraparound. Or, I don't know if you can call this a wraparound, really, because you're straight up running from the other side of the map, hoping they don't have defensive wards, and you might be correct. What are you going to catch? No Tail's not a bad target if you can kill him in time. There's the monkey. No Tail's gone. All right. Yeah, buyback, well, they though. They do find someone in the back. It's Lone Droid. That's not good. You can't lose Koifa here, but he's surviving for now. Koifa, picking out alive. He's killing things for the bear, and they managed to leash and kill Thompson. They went for Koi, but I think it was an easy kill, but it was oh, not easy back. at all. And here the reinforcements, they all are coming back. Thompson's ready to fight. So is no they both have global abilities. Make it wanting to catch this Ember Spirit. They want to force the die back here. That Frost Shield was kind of annoying, but they need another stun. Here he comes Boxy through the river. They can stop Thompson. They have Lugan's command, and they will force the die back on Thompson. 
Oh, this Scrappy Dot is starting to get punished now by Liquid. They go for mid one as well. And with a Frost Shield, it should be a potential kill. Yeah, yeah it's gonna happen. Mid one's gone. Saxa is the last kill they're gonna get here in this matchup. That's four kills for Liquid. They're starting to punish this over-aggression of OG, this confidence. That died back by Thompson. Liquid knew it was gonna happen. Three diebacks actually. No tail socks to and tops and all going down. There were so many really cool plays in that as well. Mickey, even just at the very end, he sees the axes for mid one coming, jumps off the tree just in time to not get stunned. Clean up the kills. The uh, instant buyback from Insania, realizing that, hey, this is what OG does every single game. They're just going to bring more heroes, and we need to as well. Yes, and they have been matching the style. They've been playing a really up-tempo lone druid. We thought this was impossible, but they showed. A lone druid can win again, so we just got to play him this way. That monkey can complimented it so well. And now, look at Boxy go again. This man knows no fear. He's going to find whatever he sees. Taiga in trouble. He does get killed off by the Wrath of Nature. Well placed. And now they're going to try to go for Koikva. Or at least his bear, rather. He does have the TP, so he should be... Liquid draws first blood, claiming the melee racks in the mid lane. And that's going to be just a little bit of extra pressure that OG has to deal with to keep the lanes out. Something that they've been extremely good at up until this game, where it does kind of feel like Liquid has the upper hand. Despite having a Beast and a Nature's Prophet and an Ember Spirit, Liquid is not really being pressured at their own base while they're making aggressive moves, and that is a huge deal. True. That's true. The, usually the control of map that, that OG has forces you to always... Oh, whoa! That play by Samail going right into your death and Saxa in a similar position. You're fighting in the water. You can't fight a Slardar. Neither can you fight a Monkey King, apparently. Okay, these kind of plays are not what I'm expecting from OG. Oh, getting a little bit ahead of themselves. They've, yeah. they've been running people over and just, there's there's never been a uh, back command for OG for the entire qualifier. So now they need to slow things down a little bit, which is not how they're used to playing. Go and you, like they're just talking amongst themselves and they're going, right, what happens? We're running at them and they're not dying. So what do we do? I don't, I don't know, I've never experienced this before. <laughs> what do you mean back? <laughs> yes, I didn't even exactly. know I could do that. They don't have that key in their keyboard. B is not part of it. Make one. All right, that poor Insania. Oh, actually, may not. For the Dream Coil? They can actually fight this? They broke it. Thompson stunned himself and got canceled because of it. And mid one in the same position. And look at where oh, the lanes okay. are. My god, Tiger. My god. This man. This whole game. Those Dream Coils off point. The play style on point. Uh, Tiger and Mickey for this. I mean, nah. The whole liquid. It's been a, a pleasure to watch him, really. Yeah, I actually love this itemization too. He didn't even upgrade his boosts. He's just going straight Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> yes. Veil though, he get, went for an early Veil. Which does add a lot of damage to this team, which I like. Much to a Lich. Okay, they're gonna go. Take a tower here, Koikva. With a bear, Mask of Madness, Desolator, that tower is gonna fall. They tell him the bear, he's a bit too fat, falls down. We need to break that tower, but it's a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult. Even though the bear treats it like it's made out of butter, you also gotta wait your time. And look how early Liquid backs out. They're not like waiting until five seconds until Thompson's up. They start backing out like 15 seconds, knowing that OG will 100% chase them out uh, yeah. if, if they leave any any later than that. Radiance Ooh, there's a... Okay, never mind. I thought that was a fake back. Just a warding dominate completely. I think there's a Roshan, maybe? I really like the yet. smoke. They're gonna find tops and they're gonna find multiple they are. That's a great oh thing. Oh my god, he's decimated. gone. A single boundless strike and they're gone. And now it's also Samayo going it. down. Nothing you could do there. As Mickey just wrecks havoc around OG. Another beautiful slithering crush. Boxy, you make this look easy. How do you do this? What's the secret? How do you always get two people in those stumps? GG. They did it! They actually stopped the wi the winning streak by OG. Liquid are the first to defeat OG. That was a hell of a game. They they just outfought OG at their own game. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna say I told you so, but that was the first time that we've seen Thompson have absolutely no game. And yeah, they've realized. I think it's, it reminded me a lot of the plays. 
or when OG was playing against Alliance, actually, because they just canceled Limp. Alliance was playing around Nico Baby alone. You were hoping Nico Baby could get online, but of course Nico Baby was too slow because he had, you know, carry, and then you couldn't do much. And that this happened this game. You cancel Thompson, they figure out the trick. You cancel Thompson, there's no space for Samael, and then the, the team a bit crumbles. You can't fight that scrappy style if you don't have a full team of here. Catch this Ember Spirit. They want to force the die back here. That frost shield was what? Kind of annoying, but they need another stun. They get Foxy through the river. They can stun Thompson. They have the Ghost Command. And they will force the die back on Thompson. Oh, this scrappy Delta is starting to get punished now by Liquid. They go for mid one as well. And with the frost shield, it should be a plus potential kill. Yeah, yeah it's going to happen. Mid one's gone. Saxa is the last kill they're going to get here in this matchup. That's.